Have you ever wondered how people are able to get their videos to look like this? Oh, poop. Or like this, where the face just doesn't seem to move, it just stays in the same spot and you just have this really cool locked on stabilization effect? Yeah, that's really cool, right? So in this video, I'm gonna take you through really quick how to do this for free, step by step. It's not gonna cost any money. As long as you have a laptop and you have a video to edit, you are good to go. Well, the first thing we're gonna do is go to Google and we're going to download Resolve down, blah. We're gonna download Resolve. I cannot talk today. We're going to download DaVinci Resolve 17, all right? So you're gonna type in DaVinci Resolve 17, hit download now, and select this one over here. This is the free version of DaVinci Resolve 17. DaVinci Resolve Studio 17 is the paid version. And then once you have it all installed, we're gonna go ahead and open up DaVinci Resolve. All right, hope you guys are doing well today. I am excited to share you guys how to do all of this stuff. It's super duper easy. Okay, so once you are here where you open up a new untitled project, you're just gonna hit on this little paper symbol with an arrow, um, and then we're gonna select our video that we want to edit with. Okay, so next we are going to drag the video from the top left-hand corner onto your, um, your main space. And here we have a vertical video. So I'm gonna hit that right upper hand, right hand timeline resolution button so that I can get that to be portrait and shebang. Okay, so before we jump right in, I wanted to explain that in order to make this locked on stabilization face tracking effect possible, you want to make sure that whatever object you're tracking stays in frame and is relatively small in the video. So for my case, that would be me. That would be my face. Um, and as you can see throughout the whole video, my face stays in the center of the frame. It doesn't go off to the side very often. What your video shouldn't look like is this. If you had a video like this and you tried to apply this effect, it would be extremely difficult to successfully do this. That is why you want to always play it safe and have whatever object you're trying to track be as small as possible. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's go ahead and go to this tab at the very bottom. It's called Fusion. We're gonna hit that button right there. We're gonna go to Median 1 and we're gonna hit Shift Space. Then you're gonna have this small menu. We're gonna hit Track Er. And there's two options. There's planar, planar, planar. I have no idea. We have this planar tracker and then the tracker. Um, I'm gonna show you both ways. We're gonna do the planar tracker first. So go ahead and add that one. And as you can see, it's been added right here to median one. Using this one, what you want to do is zoom in. You're gonna go ahead and hit 200%, that's perfect. And make sure that your video is at the very beginning. As you can see here, if I were at the center of the video, this red mark would show that. Make sure that this red column is at the very beginning of your video. Okay, so whatever um, object that you're trying to track, go ahead and click around it. Boom, 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 boom. Pretty simple. Do it pretty fast. Boom, 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 boom. And wonderful. After you've traced all the way around, go ahead and select set. And then we're gonna hit hybrid point area, translation, and hit continue. And that is going to allow your video to track my face pretty much the whole time. Okay, so that took me approximately 30 seconds to track. We're gonna go ahead and hit steady over here on the operation mode, boom. And then we're gonna come back down here on planar tracker, select that, hit shift space again to bring out that menu. And this time you're gonna hit transform, boom. Add transform. And what this is going to allow you to do is to resize your video like so. Boom, you can go as far as possible. As you can see, all of this gray area, that's going to show up as just some like black space over here, okay? So we wanna get rid of that by zooming in. Oh, wrong portal. Go to transform, increase the size, and then you can recenter it like so. You can recenter it going into the, um, the vertical plane as well. I'm going to resize it and zoom in a little bit more. And boom, let's see how the video looks. Here we go. 
absolutely stunning. Yes. Oh, that's amazing. Now, remember when we were in this portal here and there were two options for tracking? Yeah, let's go ahead and show you the other option. So we're gonna hit shift space again. We're gonna hit tracker. So this is option number two for how you want to track your videos. So this time we're gonna hit tracker and not the, the planar tracker one. We're gonna add that, okay? So the same thing, make sure that we have this bar at the very beginning. So we're starting at the very beginning so we can track everything from the very start. Um, and once you have this tracker feature on, you're going to see this little green box. You're gonna select this even smaller box on the top left-hand corner of it. Okay, let's zoom in onto that right here. Go ahead and drag this to whatever object you are trying to track, okay? So for my case, let's do something different. Let's try tracking my left eye over here. So I'm going to get this box to be right around my eye. You can see down here, it's got my eye, beautiful. And then with this outer box, you can kind of play around with it. I like to go around here, okay? And then we're gonna go ahead and hit this right track forward button, and that'll do the magic. Oop. Let's see, what's it, one, beautiful. As you can see, it's doing its thing. So All right, so that took approximately 14 seconds to track. Um, after that, go ahead and hit operation, hit match move, do background only, beautiful. Okay, now we're gonna come back to tracker, hit shift space, select transform one more time, and then resize your video like you did before. And boom, you have your video tracked. Okay, so once you have your video set and ready to go, go ahead and give your file a name. I'm just gonna call it a shuffle video. And then we're gonna hit location, browse. I'm gonna save it to my desktop, hit save. And format, I like to keep it as MP4. Add to render queue, and then render all and boom okay so that took me approximately 25 seconds to save i got my video thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial if you want to see other video editing tutorials let me know in the comments down below don't forget to subscribe and like my video for more videos like this and uh yeah if you have any questions let me know in the comments down below thank you